Hey everybody, Ann here. Yeah, my voice is a little bit hoarse because of all the hollering I was doing yesterday. Um, I just want to say thank you, neighbor, dude, and family for coming over and rescuing me. They've got, they're just a great family. The kids are just awesome. I love those kids so much. When they all came over and there was a situation between the two dogs, which turned out fine. Um, everything's okay, but it scared me uh, and I was hollering. Um, the, their littlest girl, I call her Sunshine. Um, she says, you know how to get... You know how to get a pit bull to stop biting? Um, I said, no. She says, get a big stick and stick it in his bum. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. And they explained, yeah, yeah, yeah pit bull will stop doing that. if uh, Stop biting if you do that. So I'm going to have to carry a big stick with me all the time. It just cracked me up so much because she's, she's so little and she's so sweet. Oh my gosh. Anyhow, uh, yeah, so I got a new incubator, and I'm going to show it to you right now. This is the new incubator I got, and it is the Harris Farms Nurture Right 360 incubator with built-in LED candler. I didn't even know that initially. Um, you can get it off of Amazon, actually, and it's got a 22 chicken egg capacity. I think a few less duck eggs or turkey eggs or a whole bunch more quail eggs. But it's got an automatic egg turner, and I like this egg turner because it keeps them on their side. And when you, during the last three days, it you don't have to remove the eggs. You just lift the little egg turner off and leave the eggs in there. But um, it's got a couple chambers. You put water in it. It's very cool because you put water in it here, and it doesn't all go in. It just lets it in. As it needs it um, the default temperature is 95.5 but through reading a little bit um, people said it was better to set it at a hundred and it's at 52 percent right now which is fine um, and you can control the humidity by moving this little thing back and forth if you need to they recommend keeping it at half open but it always has to be at least a third open because it's critical for the air circulation but it is like a roundish sort of a thing. And the heat and the fan is centered over the top of all of the eggs. Not like my other, you know, styrofoam box one. It had the heat over here and then all the eggs down here never really seemed to, um, you know, get incubated. So, um, you can set it at different days. It'll count it down from day 21 on this is the indicator for the automatic egg turner um, for the last three days it shuts the egg turner off and kind of reminds you to lift that thing out but it's great I tested the egg turner it is turning it's doing super good and I, I like the LED lights it lights it up I don't have to shine a flashlight on it to see what the temperature and the humidity is so hopefully Hopefully this will do the trick for these eggs. It looks like an awful nice, nice incubator. I don't know how long the incubator had been shut down. Um, when I went over to it, it still felt warm on top. I mean, it felt it felt like it was still warm inside. So I got this little uh, thermometer thingy and humidity reader that uh, a subscriber gave to me. And I stuck it in there real quick. And um, it showed that it the temperature was still in the 90s. Um, so I didn't wait to stand there to watch whether or not it went up. So I just covered the whole incubator in a big blanket, big fluffy bank blanket. And Papa and I got in the truck. And uh, on the way, I called to make sure that they had the incubator, you know, at Tractor Supply. And they did. The lady brought it up to the counter, the cashier. So I went and bought it and, you know, hurried back and quickly set it up. And it's been going great ever since. So, um, I don't know. And when, when stuff like that happens, a power outage or whatever, um, it may add an extra day to the incubation period. It might not. Um, because, well, if you think about it, Broody Hen, she gets off the nest for, you know, 30 minutes, maybe an hour a day. And uh, the eggs do just fine. So 
Um, but I've had two power outages, and sometimes what can happen is maybe while the chicks are forming, if the power goes out and the incubation stops, maybe a limb won't get formed right. Um, and maybe, you know, somebody might, might end up not making it that would have. But I'm hopeful. Um, I'm hopeful that it's all going to be okay. So today I'm going to totally take it easy. Um, I'm going to go have a look at my garden. I'm going to water things again. I have to water almost every day because there's been no rain and the heat's been up pretty high. This tomato bed is doing just fine. Look at that zucchini. It's really growing. And I've got three plants, so I'm just going to leave them all in there. This little tomato is still growing. Um, I'd like the leaves to look a little greener, but I'm sure that'll happen in time. My hot pepper garden is doing great. And look at that butternut squash. Yeah, I got three plants. Looks like another one's coming up over there. Yeah, I'm going to leave them all in there. And there's little uh, flower buds on each of these plants. So I'm definitely going to get some hot peppers. Check this out. This is the green bell pepper garden bed. And finally, the yellow summer squash is coming up. Hooray! And the zucchini garden bed is doing just fine. And the yellow summer squash as well. In fact, these look really good. Oh yeah. Look at how big these cucumbers have gotten. So today I'm going to prepare this garden bed and plunk these down in it. And in case you're wondering, that's what the little roots look like. So I'm going to get it out of this pot somehow and uh, put it down in some dirt. There we go. I did it. I got it out. Roots look pretty good. I ended up just kind of breaking this in half. I've got plenty of these. So now it's time to dig a little hole and get it down in there. Give it a good watering. I think I'm just going to use this nutrient solution to give it a good watering. I don't need to put all of it down in there, but quite a bit. I can use the rest of it somewhere else. Nothing coming up in the green beans yet, but that's okay. I just planted them a few days. What? Wait a second. Hold on, hold on. What's that? <gasps> it's an actual green bean seed. <sighs> I don't know, maybe, maybe something's trying to sprout, but let's keep this covered up. I gave it a good watering. Well, look who got off her nest to come get a drink of water and a bite to eat. First thing she's going to do is go over to that dust bath. Yep. She loves that dust bath so much. Dovey Mama got back on the nest, and I love it when she first gets back on the nest because she gets up very gingerly, gets on top of the eggs. She lowers her body, flattens herself out, and she does like a little shimmy to get the eggs into position. Uh, it is just so adorable. I I'm going to try and catch it on film sometime. Anyhow, uh, you know what? That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.